What if the secret to a fulfilling life isn't about chasing an ideal of perfection? First of all, there's no such thing as a perfect life. I don't think one ever becomes perfect. To me, I believe that chasing perfection creates a balanced life, but you'll never be perfect. I think the journey to success is the perfection. Trying to fix your life in a proper way, trying to create a balance in your life, that's what creates a perfect life. But there is no perfect life because journey, life is a journey. So instead of trying to be the best, work on being the best. I think there's a difference there. You know, you can wake up today and you want to be the best, but you're not working towards being the best. We, we tend to forget that it's the process that makes or shapes us. It's, you don't just wake up one morning and say that today I'm perfect, today I'm gonna do this thing. You have to really put in some effort in trying to be the best. It's in learning something new, something that improves your life, that you become something of worth in your personal life. Now, overachievers do not become perfect in one sitting. They don't. They, they do not become perfect overnight. But it's through their failure, failing a hundred times, that brought in about their perfection. Journaling is a big, big, big part of my life. It helps me to track everything that I do. It's like documenting your own personal life and then analyzing it at the end of the day before you go to sleep. It's like, hey, today I did this and this. Does it align to the goals and ambition that you had set at the beginning of the day? I know that you reached a point in your life whereby you had written so many things that you were supposed to do. You were so driven, you were so pumped up, but one week later you forgot everything. What's the case? Because you did not act immediately. So instead of trying to implement everything in one day, in one sitting, trying to accomplish one thing immediately, Try practicing delayed gratification. Everything is like a wall. Your life is like a wall. It's like building a wall. Every brick counts. Today, put one brick. Tomorrow, put one brick. At the end of the year, you have a full wall. Each brick represents something in your life. It might be financial learning, uh, financial skills. It might be your own personal growth. It might be your own health. Anything. Everything is a brick. You building that wall is what shapes your life and makes you perfect. Life is a journey and perfection is in the process. Perfection is in what you do in the journey. That will, that's what will shape you. Uh, sometimes having a balanced life means that you have to cut off some people in your life. You've never truly understood who you are because constantly you're surrounded by people who try to make you who you are not supposed to be. So let's not confuse being alone and loneliness. Uh, sometimes you can be lonely but not alone and you can be alone and lonely so let's not confuse both uh, both the both the two terms it reaches a point in your life where at me at some point in your life i almost became an alcoholic because i only found purpose in drinking with people who valued me as their person who drinks you need sometimes to take a challenge in your life and just sit by yourself and ask yourself who am i what am i supposed to do if these people are not in my life, who am I? Am I trying to impress somebody so that I can look perfect in their own eyes, yet you're destroying your own personal life? You need to ask yourself this question, but you need to ask them alone. You need to sit down alone. You need to like take a challenge whereby like, for one whole month, you need to disappear. For example, if you're an alcoholic, one of the best things that uh, can help you overcome your alcoholism is the environment. Because, for example, if you take a challenge like one week today, you won't take anything that's harmful to your body. And then you meet your friend that is like, I just take one, just take one. I promise you will backslide. So you need to come back to yourself, go back to your roots. Like, who are you as a person when you're alone? It's don't, evolve in your, don't evolve yourself into something if you're not ready and not mentally ready or mentally stable to be part of that thing. Let's say, for example, if it's relationship, if it's work, like if you, if you introduce somebody in your life and you're not ready, you will hurt them and in turn, they will always feel resentment towards you. And that's what, such kind of energies are what makes people not go, have been there. Let's give an example whereby like, for example, 
you need somebody in your life you, but you you only, you're only uh, driven by uh, the adrenaline of when you feel lonely you want somebody to be there but you don't need that person you don't love that person you just want their company but in the other the other the, the, since you didn't communicate your own uh, intentions the other person feels a certain way that they are more driven to you but when they now find out your true intention that maybe hey you are not you didn't feel the same way that they did people get hurt so you need to have pure intentions with your own personal life and the other person's life one thing i've come to understand if you want a peaceful life and you have you want a positive life avoid people <laughs> i mean i mean avoid people avoid bringing yourself into things that will make you be go, go crazy like for example if uh, uh, you have relationship dramas you have baby mama dramas is it because it is a couple if uko tu peke yako but if you have pure intentions with doing something a lot of us are afraid of putting in the work when it comes to something as human beings we are so focused on the easier way to get things like it's easier to not be committed to something it's easier to hurt somebody than to work on building a solid relationship with somebody all those things they come back to us so if you want a balanced life one thing if you can't then be alone work on yourself first then introduce somebody or something in your life you can't introduce something or somebody in your life if you're not well balanced in your mental health your spiritual self you will always hurt people and i keep saying this you will always hurt people and it's so bad that people around you or the people who have been in your life those constantly speaking ill about you those kind of energy some big on energy those kind of energies will always go back to you it's like chickens are like curses they always come back to roost